Hello, my YouTube family. How you doing? I hope everybody's doing good in the company of our Lord, Jesus Christ. Um, today, I want to talk about something that I used to be concerned. And I think that a lot of you guys are going to identify yourself with this, with this topic. Um, I used to believe uh, that I wasn't like pure enough not to say to follow Jesus. I used to uh, think like, no, uh, no, no yet, no yet. I had to change this, I had to change that, you know, and, and then I can follow Jesus. And this was long time ago. <laughs> um, well, that's wrong. <laughs> You know that the more I learn about the people in the Bible, in the Old Testament, uh, these people that God used, they were not perfect. They were not perfect. Uh, actually, God didn't use Abraham because he was a talented man, because he was, um, uh, he had a big faith at the beginning. Uh, we know that everything changed later, but um, Abraham was very disobedient. Um, remember that he, God promised him a son, and then he had he waited like for over twenty years, and he and his wife Sarah, Sarai got desperate, and they uh, they arranged stuff. So Abraham slept with his. Um, Slay Agar, Agar, I think it was the name. And well, that's adultery, you know, they, he, he committed adultery and he also um, told his wife to lie and say that she was his uh, sister to Pharaoh. I think it was to the Egyptian Pharaoh. Yeah, Somebody, song of the Egyptian because it was convenient for him. He was hiding behind his wife. So that was Abraham. And yet Abraham is considered the father of our faith. So um, that tells you, you know, that we don't have to wait. We don't have to wait because we're never going to be perfect. We're never going to be too um, saying enough, you know, too perfect to come to Jesus. That's not going to happen. We have to come with all our imperfection. We also know about Jacob. Jacob was a liar. He he is still the his brother Esau. I think it was Esau his name. His older brother. He still his blessing. He lied. He and his mother together they. Um, plan you know to deceive his brother and his father and they did yet jacob is the patriarch uh of the 13 tribes of israel as we know and jacob uh, was also blessed you know by god so um that's another big one from the old testament and the last one I want to mention is uh, Paul. We know that um, Paul, uh, he used to, well, his previous name was Saul, 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 yes. And he used to persecute uh, followers of Jesus. He used to kill them. He used to order them to be incarcerated. And we know, we know that Paul, Paul was transformed when he got his encounter with Jesus. And Paul is uh, the one that the Lord gave the charge to 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 um, talk to us mainly. You know, we we um um we are not Jewish. We are Gentile. Gentile is the word I was looking. Gentile. Paul was like 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 the person in charge of 
speed the gospel to us. So Paul was a, was a, a, a Christian killer, we can call it like that. And yet he was, and was big in the, in the New Testament. He wrote 13 books of the New Testament. So my friend, don't wait, don't wait until you stop watching pornography, until you stop uh, uh, drinking alcohol, whatever that your issue is, you don't need to wait. You don't need to wait. That's the good news I'm, I'm bringing today. <laughs> you don't need to wait because um, by yourself, we can't do it. We're not able to do it. We can't quit any of those addiction by yourself. But with Jesus' help, with your Lord's help, you can do it. We can do everything on Christ who gives us the strength. My favorite verse. So I encourage you, my friend, today. Today is the day of salvation. The Bible says so. Today, get in your need, in your room, and ask the Lord for help. Get sincere, tell him that you, you want to stop and you need you need his help. Be open your heart to the Lord, get closer to him, and you're going to see his manifestation in your life. I guarantee it. <laughs> I like saying that because I know it's true. I know that you're not going to regret it. Get closer to the Lord ask for his help in this particular issue that is keeping you away from him you are feeling like you are not pure enough but the lord knows that we are not saying we are not perfect okay so get closer to god you're not gonna regret it he is gonna be the best decision you take in your whole life get closer to him because remember that the lord get the unqualified he used the unqualified for his for his glory he get the unqualified and on the process he qualified us he qualified us so don't be looking for excuses to not get closer to god do it today get closer to him today unveil yourself to the lord and you're gonna see his presence you're gonna see it. Um, I hope that this video touched you, you know, um, at least a little bit and give you the um, confidence to just get closer to God the way you are right now. Without Him, you're never gonna get perfect. You're never gonna get to that point that you feel like it's now. No, do it. And in the process, you're gonna, you're gonna improve little by little it's not one thing that happened over the night so little by little with god help you can do it uh well i hope that this video helped you guys and if you're here for the first time hit subscribe so we can keep growing in the lord together because the more i talk about the lord the more that stays in my in my head so I, i'll keep growing and you keep growing these are baby steps to towards jesus towards salvation um well i'll see you soon thank you for watching god bless you and remember god is only one prayer away from you pray and you want to be in contact with him that direct, direct line is at your hands okay guys take care god bless you all